Close your eyes and watch your breath. When the breath comes in, think of it sweeping all the way through the body, sweeping out all the cobwebs. It's like cleaning up your house. All the little bits of tension here and there, all the little bits of knots of blockages here and there. Just think of the breath going right through them, all the way down to the toes. And think of it cleaning out your mind as well. Pretend to go through life picking up all kinds of garbage. This person said that, that person said this, and it gets stuck in our minds. This happened, it gets stuck in our minds. And usually it's the bad things that get stuck longer. When you've been treated unfairly, when someone has said something, criticized you in a way that's not just, that's not true, that tends to stay in the mind for a long time. As for the Dharma, that tends to go away very quickly. You have to think of yourself as you go through the day, you're gathering stuff up together into the mind. And if as long as you're gathering good things, there's no real problem. But even then you don't want to gather too much stuff, you want to be able to let things go. But for the most part we gather up a lot of garbage. If you think of the day as something you put in a bag, all the things that you keep in, in your mind and think about and worry about and go over and over again, that's something you put in a bag. And when you came home, what would you have if you poured the bag out? If you had a lot of garbage, then it was nothing worth picking up to begin with. The Buddha compares to those who pick up the Dharma as people who are gathering flowers. So you've got the choice. There are Dharma lessons to be had as you go through the world. When someone says something unkind, you can say, well, a sound has made contact in the air. It's not a pleasant sound, but that's it. You don't have to bring it further into the mind to stab yourself. If someone does something bad, okay, don't stab yourself with it. You don't have to pick it up. But if you're going to learn a good lesson, okay, remember that. Ways that you can keep your mind from suffering. The old things that you used to suffer over, you notice that they can go right past you, and the mind knows that they're there. And maybe you can think of something to do about them, but it doesn't pick them up, doesn't carry them around. These old grudges that last for years and years and years. Something stuck at the bottom of your, your sack. No matter how much you try to pour it out, it just stays there. You have to learn how to clean that out. That's what the Dharma is for, is cleaning all, all this garbage out of the mind. So as you go through the day, remember, you'd much rather gather flowers than gather garbage. If you find yourself gathering garbage, remind yourself it's nothing you want to take because you're going to have to pour it out when you get back home. So I pick it up to begin with. And John Lee makes a comparison. He says someone says something really nasty to you and you take it and think about it for days. Well, you've taken something they've spit out and you've started chewing on it. And if you don't feel well, why are you sick? Well, who can you, who can you blame? You were the one who picked it up. People throw their words around usually without any care, without any attention. But you don't have to go around picking up after them. If they something, say something nasty, something unfair, something untrue, something unkind, just leave it there. Pick up only the things that are good, the lessons you learn about Dharma as you go through the day. And even when you sit down and meditate, you want to put those aside as well so the mind can have an, its opportunity to be quiet, because a lot of really good things come when the mind gets very, very still. So make this a daily habit cleaning things out. And the best thing, of course, is not to gather up garbage as you go through the day. Gather only the flowers. Put them in a vase when you get home. And they're there for you to use whenever you need them.